Now remember we said any app domain will do. Okay? For this particular library, I hosted this guy inside of a Windows service. So if we take a look at the actual kind of code that I had to write to host this guy, it's really minimal. And if I wanted to put everything inside of a config file, it would literally be two lines of code. But I just wanted to show you this way. Remember that the ABCs can totally be done in code as well. They don't have to be in a config file. So here, I'm going to use a system.uri for my A, right, my address. And that's where I just picked an arbitrary port for the math service library. Here's my B. Right? So I decided to make use of a HTTP web service binding. I could have also have used a, you know, a TCP binding there. Right? And then there's my C, right? good old type information. So once I go ahead and build these pieces up, notice how I can just use the host. So that's the service host up here. I just have a member variable of type service host. And I just simply add in my endpoint. So a single host could expose the same service in multiple ways with different endpoints, which is also pretty cool. So I could say, well, this one executable is serving up the same objects through TCP or HTTP. Pick your choice. Right? And then all I got to do is open up my host. So here, I've actually already installed this service. So if I were to just come here, got a little guy here called the math service. So that's the guy running in the background. Right? And then the final piece of my puzzle is to look at some client code, which again is extraordinarily easy because the proxy generator pretty much writes it all for us. And the only point of interest, I threw in a couple of things just to kind of entice us all. Okay, let me start here actually. So over here in my project, this is just a council based executable, and I wanted to build a proxy to that service, which is now being hosted through a Windows service, right? So I can do that just by right clicking and saying add service reference. Here's a little stickler for you. If you need to add a reference to an existing XML web service built with ASP.NET, you're not going to see the same option that says add web service. You have to go through this dialog, but under advanced, right? this is where you can click on add web reference. <laughs> that drove me insane until I figured that sucker out. Right? But I've already added a reference. So I've already added a reference to my service. And you can see there's where he's pointing to. There is math service at the arbitrary 8080. Notice this as well. I checked off generate asynchronous operations. Right, so you guys remember the whole begin end paradigm for asynchronous delegates? I'm just telling the proxy generator I want that too. Okay. So I click the magic OK button, and then there is my proxy type. Right? Basic math client. And I also got representation of my contract on this side too. Now here's the part that we'll end with. And again, if you've done anything with web services or .NET remoting, this is going to be very cut and dry. You make the proxy, right? You open and then you call methods. So here, I'm calling begin add. I'm doing a loop with is completed. And, and that's nothing new. That's been there forever. It's just part of the asynchronous delegate stuff. But there is something in this screenshot, this code right here, which is very new. Look at that. A lambda operator. OK? C sharp 3.0 now supports lambda expressions. What does that mean? Any place that you used to pass in a delegate as a parameter, 
you can now pass in a lambda expression. And it allows us to build very concise code. Right? So instead of having to use a real async callback delegate there, I'm just going to say, as the third parameter to begin add, I'm going to pass in this argument to be processed by this stack of code statements. Kind of reminds you a little bit of an anonymous method, perhaps, right, with 2.0. Well, think of this as a better form of an anonymous method. Right? I just kind of threw that in there for tricks <laughs> to get us ready for the next talk. But in any case, you know, I run the program. Notice how the client was doing stuff as that call completed asynchronously, and then eventually I get back my result. 